Okay, my name is uh, Gian, I'm from Germany, so we are working here in the, in the first aid, let's say, so it's kind of a field hospital, so we have been like in uh, Spit, Tel Aviv, and uh, due to the heavy attacks of the Turkish um, forces, and uh, their supporting forces, uh, we had to leave that area, so and um, now we are here in Ain Isa and we're doing like medical um, care. Uh, mostly we are handling here civilians, so there have been a lot of civilian casualties, women, children, like old people, uh, of course also other uh, injured people are, who are participating in this conflict, um, but mostly it has been civilians uh, having like uh, injured through like bombardments of like Turkish Air Force like, or Turkish heavy artillery, and yeah, this is what we can say. So, um, no, it's a little bit more quiet uh, in these days, but I think tomorrow after like when the ceasefire will be over, so it will be go on, also like the threats of uh, um, the Turkish state and uh, represented through Erdogan, they are saying they will to smash uh, the heads of the people here and we're talking about the civilians of like the civilian uh, population here who are mostly seeing like uh, the biggest um, um, casualties and uh, for this uh, we are preparing for the worst and expecting the worst because until now seriously um, there have been just like uh, huge uh, numbers of civilians being um, injured in this uh, conflict and yeah, so uh, what we can say is that um, so it's actually really like a, a huge tragic. So when we see sometimes we have possibilities like to look like in the uh, internet and see like how states are uh, condemning um, like the attacks of or the moves like um, of the of the Turkish uh, military, but um, not really like <laughs> stopping it, which could be which could they be do. Um, so it's it's actually it's like a huge theater. So what we see there is not that um, people are really interested like in a peace in this region. It's like of a power game. Different forces like trying now to sell out like um, this area, and uh, the people are trying to uh, defend themselves and survive like under the circumstances. Uh, the circumstances of like an, a NATO member army who are like attacking civilians uh, in the hardest level um, through heavy air force and through artillery shellings, uh, which you see every day. Yeah, so actually uh, we call for all like NGOs, we call for international help, like for all the people who um, are working in these fields, are bringing in like support coming, participating, helping like all the injured, uh, the civilian injured, bring out for example in Serrakania for a long time the injured won't well, be able like to leave the city. Yeah, it's a, it's a war crime what we have seen there and um, so what haven't been uh, done the most NGOs when the um, conflict started here, conflict, so when the um, uh, Injustable uh, attacks of the Turkish uh, army started, so the most NGOs just left this area, yeah. and uh, so no medical help, uh, no international, uh, no international presence. Um, so and there is a huge need um, of medical um, uh, stuff, and there is a huge need like of um, people coming here um, and helping uh, to save like this uh, the injured civilians.